Now, the Mike from LA One Network proudly presents Saturday, I mean Friday Night Smackdown. The one missed. Welcome everybody to Friday Night Smackdown. We are live and sold out. We are 48 hours away from No Way Out. And also, this is probably going to be one of the quickest episodes in existence. Okay, I'm just kidding. We are going to show off all of the matches. At the night, Friday Night Smackdown is ready to go. We got one championship on the line. Or maybe not. Okay, no championships are on the line tonight, unfortunately, but I gotta fix that for Saturday Slam. For Saturday Slam, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Okay, I gotta change something really quickly, so I'll be right there. Okay, let's see. I hate doing this manually. This stinking sucks. Oh man. Yep, I had to put a few things in. We got Woodrow Ambrose taking on Orlando Tavares. Is that oh good, I thought the thing froze. And we had to insert Paul Heyman in there, because let's be honest, Paul Heyman should make more appearances on here. And I love this matchup so much that this matchup deserves to be a title match of his own. Sorry, people. Just saying. Just saying, people. I apologize for this, but let's be honest here. I may have forgotten to hit the save button. Just saying. Jinder Mahal is the automatic double one contender. How does this work? So here we go. We're going to start off with a women's match. Surprise, shocked, I know. Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Let's go. Friday Night Smackdown. Of course, after Slam, I will be taking a upload break because let's be honest, the Monday Night Raw in this video is fact set. Here we go. And we are live from Chicago, Illinois. Here comes Nikki Bella, who suffered a, who beat, who legitimately beat AJ for the undisputed women's championship, which I will make that change during my upload break. Let me tell you that right now. And here comes Natalia, one of the divas I do want to beat actually at SummerSlam Access next month. So, yeah. And I can't believe it. SummerSlam is one month away from today. And also, it's Disneyland's 59th birthday. Yay! And oh boy, and you know what I just realized? And you know what I just realized? That next year is on a Friday, the day I'm normally there, and it's gonna be the 60th! Oh my god! And here we go, this matchup is to determine here, don't forget AJ Natalia was the one that unified the titles, he carried both sets of titles when she beat AJ, but then AJ won a rematch for a championship and as a result, and as a result, AJ is currently the undisputed champion right now. Here we go, here on SmackDown. And here we go, it's Natalia's... And AJ is 
getting ready for that sharp, re ready for that sharpshooter. Nope, two count. Uh oh. Looks like Natty may be in trouble here. She is really wigging up the body, and here we go. Uh oh, wait a minute, I think it may be time. Yep, it's time for the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. And she taps out, and and Daddy gets the victory. And ladies and gentlemen, I have just received word from the authority that Noah Price will indeed defend the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Championship for the very first time on pay-per-view. He will face Damian Sandow for that championship on pay-per-view. He will defend the Mike from LA1 World Heavyweight Championship against Damian Sandow at No Way Out. Where on the card? I have no idea. So Darren Young is even more confused right now as it is, trying to figure out who will be his opponent next month at Money in the Bank. And here we go, we got our next matchup here. And here comes Woodrow Ambrose. <laughs> And boy, this one's going to be a good matchup here. And here comes the brand new X Division Champion. We haven't seen see since he won this title at Main Event. On Main Event on Wednesday night. And here we go. Orlando Tavares carrying his brand new championship. Being accompanied by Paul. Oh, here we go. X, your X Division champion, Orlando Tavares. Or there's the Orlando Tavares, and then boom. So here we go. Here we go. And we know Woodrow Ambrose is probably gonna.
And we now know that the Authority are really happy that Orlin that Oscar still has all, yeah, has a championship rematch. But however, the Authority is telling Oscar, you know, maybe, maybe you should forfeit it and get a shot at the Million Dollar Championship. But he hasn't. He may cash it in. And look at this. As, and there goes Orlando and... Oh, wait a minute. No. No way. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. And I guess Paul Heyman, when he fell off that ladder, he knew Ambrose was probably gonna get it. So it looks like we may have a possible X Division title match on Slam. And here we go, this is the triple threat match. The last person that gets in will get... <laughs> and then the person that doesn't get involved in this decision will be going in that battle royal for the million dollar championship. So we know Disco Stu got the rematch for the Mad Tea Party Championship. <laughs> and so does Luke Gump. Now, this could be awkward if Luke Duck carries both titles, because in the Mike from LA1 universe, if you have two titles, that's a no-no, except for Zack Ryder with the Internet Championship. And here comes Francis LaVarnway, who hasn't been much of a threat since he debuted on here. As is the barn way. And boy, would this be an opportunity to make a name for yourself if your name is Francis LaVarnway. Oh, yeah. Here comes Mac Canada. And there you see Matt Canada, and boy, this is going to be big for him. The WWE Universe is starting, is still getting used to know Matt Canada. Getting used to know Matt Canada. And tonight... The men that are, are not involved and the winner will be going into that battle royal. Here we go, and here comes Simon Belmont. And there we go, here he comes, and boy, this is going to be a little awkward for this young man. Here we go. That boy, LaVarnway and LaVarnway and Belmont are really trying to evolve here. And here goes Canada. Back Canada's really starting.
Uh oh. And boy, this has been a Nope. No chance of Wait a minute. Oh man. Nice attempt there by Matt Canada. Drop kick. Oh wait, no, he missed it. Bow dog. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. DDT on the Varnway. One, two, no, no. You gotta be kidding me. And this match will continue. And of course, as the Varnway and Belmont are trying to get Mac Canada out of the decision here. They want to get in the million dollar championship battle royal, but unfortunately only two spots are available, so this means whoever loses, tough luck for them, for that person. Tough luck for that person. And it looks like Matt Canada may be, no, no he's not done yet. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 no way, no way, no way. I admit it, it looks like Belmont may have just... And Matt Canada's eliminated, it's the Varnway and Be Belmont that get in. Matt Canada gets to screw you, you get something else. Well, it's nice that LeVarnway actually won a match. Francis LeVarnway. So we now know that Luke Gump, the Ryback, are going to a title match. But, Le but, but Matt Canada, tough luck for him. He has to wait. He gets another title. He get, doesn't get a world title opportunity. A shot at the Million Dollar Championship. Tough luck for you. But however, here we go. We are now in our title match. The Extreme Rules match for the hardcore title. Can Joe Bush continue his championship reign as hardcore champion? Or will Jinder Mahal cash in? A former Zachman 18 champion, Jinder Mahal, can win this thing. Here we go. Hold on to your hats. Because here we go. And here we go. <laughs> OK. 
Joe Bush. And boy, Joe Bush is ready to go for this hardcore match. Bad news is he got, well, he don't take him lightly. This is, he was the former Zach Van 18 champion before Orlando Tavar Tavares stepped in and stole the spotlight. And Jinder did say, he, if he wins this title opportunity, he'll make sure whoever gets his opponent, he'll show that person no mercy if Simeon does decide to cash in on him. But although Simeon is in the back watching carefully, you never know who might be the one that's going to get cashed in on. Oh, yay, we got the, there you guys go, hardcore graphic, finally. You got a graphic for once. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry. So here we go. Joe Bush is heading on top and it got gender. And let me tell you, this place is going to get messy, especially for the next match. Which, oh, wait a minute, Joe Bush has a guitar. Wait a minute, have some rock and roll, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> to a beating. And Jinder has a steel chair, and oh man, he dropped it. Uh oh, uh oh. there now Matt and now there's speculation that there will be a tag team title match opportunity And right now, this doesn't look close at all. Wait a no, no, wait a minute, Joe Bush, Joe Bush. Joe Bush, no way, no way. Jenner Mahal, Jenner, no way, no way. Jinder Mahal's the new hardcore champion! No way! Joe Bush's reign is over! No! You gotta be kidding me! Jinder Mahal is the new hardcore champion. I I'm stunned. 
Now, coming up next is the number one contenders for the Intercontinental title match. And that person will face Christian or Bad News Barrett for that title in the next rivalry. So, whoever wins this match, that person will face whoever the winner is. Here comes Cesaro. You know, he's in the game. But the next question is who, which one is for Co is which version of Cody Rhodes is going to show up? The regular Cody Rhodes that we all know and love or Stardust? We're going to have to wait until next month to find out at SummerSlam. To find out. And plus, probably by then, we'll find out what the theme is of the game. Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait a minute. The authority just came on the Titan drop in it. No, no way, no way. You're welcome. And this will be the second spot in our championship arsenal. No way. Don't forget, this is not a last man standing match. There it is. Wait a minute. Here we go. There goes Cesaro. Wait a minute. European uppercut. European uppercut. One, two, and Cesaro will face whoever, whoever wins the Intercontinental title match at no way out. Tough luck for Cody. But coming up next, this is the matches that we are focusing on here on SmackDown. We got, I'm afraid I've got this, the bad news. Whose t-shirt I actually have, which I'll be wearing tomorrow, versus Christian. And judging by a heel, by a heel winning that last match, you guys are speculating who I think is going to win this thing. Oh, I've got some bad news. Bad news. <laughs> Bad news, Mickey. Here comes Christian. Yeah, totally after this, I'm probably going to take that video upload break right now so I can watch NXT and... I've got some bad news! I've got some bad news!
And oh man, what a backbreaker by Christian! That's bad news is scanning the crowd. Uh oh. Bad news, Barrett. And uh oh, apparently Christian wants to be the game. <laughs> Cause look what he just brought in. Sledgehammer. Uh oh. Looks like bad news Barrett wants Christian to listen to some music. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nice reversal there by Christian. Nice reversal by Bad News. Wins that change. Uh-oh. Good night. But wait a minute. Bad News Barrett. And when did he become a submission guy? Come on. That's ridiculous. Bull hammer. Bull hammer. One. Two. I've got some bad news! You lost your match! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Bad news. Is winging up Christian? No way! Come on now! That was totally uncalled for. Give me a break. Now, coming up next. We got our number one contender, number world heavyweight championship match. No, it's not the world for the world title. This is Alberto Del Rio versus The Undertaker. They'll be facing each other at No Way Out. Under what stipulation? I do not know. And frankly, who cares? So this... Here we go. Could this be the last time we get to see out Ricardo announcing this? Ricardo! And here comes the World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio. Boy, this is gonna be our, this is gonna be as probably one of his toughest tasks yet to date. He has to face the Undertaker. And boy, wouldn't this be special if uh, the Undertaker beats Del Rio and wins it for the eighth time? Even though in WWE 13 he's the World Heavyweight Champion over there.
Mexico's greatest export if you talk to JBL. But wait a minute, wait a minute. You took too long, sorry. Boom! And ladies and gentlemen, wait, oh no. Tanker's gonna take the chair. Wait, what? Vince Russo, why are you booking this? So Del Rio wins by DQ. How is this fair? Come on now. Now coming up next. Oh, now we are 24 hours away from No Way Out. Of course, I'll be filming that pay-per-view a little bit later or on Sunday. So take a look here. So we take a look at our three stuff here. As you can see, Chucky James and Mark Henry is starting to build tension. Wait, what? Chucky James and Mark Henry? Wait, what? Are you suggesting... Are you suggesting? Huh. I guess I can make that work. But. We're going to find out here. As you can see, this card looks really good. But I'm going to make a few tweaks to it. So I'll see you guys in a little while. For Saturday Slam. By the way, the WrestleMania stage is not you.